So the Call of Duty community is doing backflips right now. Everybody's shaking, everybody excited about the next Call of Duty game. People getting hit in the G-Spot. Guys, I got two video clips that I want to share with you. In this video, we got leaks, we got trailer news. We got gameplay stuff going around. We also have a, a homeboy coming out. This is a leaker. Says that the reveal looks very good. And this is exactly why my dog bites people, guys. Yeah, this is exactly why my boy bites everybody. Because it's the same thing every year. We say that. We're not gonna get excited by people getting excited. Like the video if you're not falling for it this time. Dislike the video if you already have fallen dislike the video if you already have fallen i want to know where you guys at but guys check this out call of duty 2024 reward blueprint has six tallies on it because prior to this a lot of people thought that it's going to be called like black ops gulf war the setting is still going to be gulf war don't get me wrong but you know what yesterday when the first tease came out a lot of the internet detectives and the call of duty community rushed to figure out that it's going to be called black ops 5 but today apparently looks like that it's going to be called black ops 6 guys uh, my guy comes out so that black ops 6 confirmed <laughs> got his own blueprint that's why more than five how do I get this? So somebody's really excited right there, as you guys can see. Data miners have also found references to Frank Woods Operator for Modern Warfare 3. And Marzo, this is most likely gonna be a pre-order bonus for Black Ops 6, guys. What we thinking, man? What we thinking? His name's actually Wood. Okay, let's actually get down to the video here. And I also came on, uh, and this is what I posted. If you guys got Twitter, I would love to have you. Black Ops 4, forget what you know. Black Ops 5 or Black Ops 6. Forget the BBC bundles. In other words, the, the, the friendly UAV online guys i think it's way too early for a friendly uav online uh, but check this because black ops 5 makes it sound like it's going to be set off to all the black ops that have come before it and even yeah. though black ops 4 was set between 2 and 3 this game is most definitely not going to be a sequel to black ops 4 and <sighs> What? No way! I don't think I'm shaking. Or oh, I'm shaking. Oh, Am I'm I shaking. Are you shaking? One in the comments if you're shaking, two if you're not shaking. This I'm game is saying. also going to be the sixth Black Ops game, with yeah. Black Ops Cold War technically being the fifth Black Ops game that we've had. So this is a bit of a weird choice and a bit of a confusing one. But I guess for those that haven't followed Black Ops for a while, potentially Cold War might have been the idea of a sort of spin off that's set between one and two. And what we're going to see in this game game is a little bit of what the rumors have suggested but also go way further in the future yeah, after yeah. black ops 2 or <laughs> black ops 3 and then that sort of ties in a little bit with the rumors of that black ops 2 sequel coming in 2025 yay. and yay yeah next year we're getting like black ops 2 remaster which is gonna be a remake essentially we're gonna have remaster maps from the original black ops 2 and we're also gonna be getting new maps right <laughs> yeah new maps i know man <laughs> Call of Duty community has never seen new maps, bro. For the last how many years we have not seen new maps? I don't even know, man. I lost count, man. But the only thing that's new in Call of Duty, eh, 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 that was the only new thing. I hope this time they forget the BBC bundles, man. Like, uh, imagine this is their tagline for Call of Duty, right? Like, who knows? Now, I mean, that directly connects without there being such a massive jump in time frame. Yeah. So what we know so far Wait officially is that the game will be fully revealed with gameplay and a deep dive on June 9th. But that's not to say that we won't get an official confirmation or tease from Activision about who is developing the game even yeah. sooner than that. Maybe even a first look at the game's official yeah. logo <laughs> before June 9th and maybe First even look? the trailer reveal before June 9th or on it. Oh my God, what? No way, we're gonna be getting that? Oh my god. That is oh crazy, that is crazy. First look, hey man, we've never seen first looks, right? Where yeah. we'll then see it's the gameplay minute. deep dive straight after the reveal. Now, if you yeah. are new here to the channel, I will keep you updated on yeah. every single moment leading up to this game's reveal. Yeah, like and subscribe, guys, like and subscribe. And it's released, so be sure to hit that subscribe button like and, subscribe, and turn on the like bell if you haven't already. But we need to dive into what we actually know about Black Ops 5 so far, because yeah. we actually- uh, Black Ops 6. We know a heck of a lot about the game. This game has no been way. in development for several years. The longest amount of time any Call of Duty game has ever been in development yeah. for. So expectation. It better be good. It better give me a BJ, bro. If I, I don't care. This game has been in development for four years. Damn it. It, it's, it better have a pausing button in zombies. Bruh. It better. I, I'm just saying, guys. It needs to at least have a pausing button in the game, bro. If no pausing, then I don't want it. 
Like the, the video games are obviously sky high. It sounds like Troke are going to be delivering on all fronts with the campaign, the multiplayer, the zombies, and the war zone. So jumping into the campaign, according to Insider Gaming, this will embrace an open world campaign. Unlike what we saw with MW3 and its open world missions, this will have been built from the ground up rather yeah. than using assets from previous <laughs> entries. And the game's open translation, it's going to be 4,000 gigabytes. Open world will see you this. and your squad navigate the map more alike to that of a Far Cry game than anything seen before in the Call of Duty universe. You'll be utilizing vehicles. So a homeboy on Facebook, right, messaged me earlier. Call of Duty over 300 gigabit gigabytes now. I posted this over on my Twitter and you can see. <laughs> Yo, he was crying. And, and one of you actually came out in the comments, right? Let me actually show this. This is this was one of you. It's zero if you uninstall it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. That is true. If you guys got Twitter, if you guys got Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. Links are always in description. It's Skizzalex. Uh, cool to, to get around there. the map, as well as using a fast travel system to get from one point to the next. Yeah. Whilst it sounds very bold, very scary, and very different to normal campaigns, apparently there will still be linear missions integrated into the game. So it oh, won't just God. be solely an open world campaign from beginning to end. The no campaign way. itself is apparently developed by Ray even software just allow Treyarch all the time in the world to focus solely on multiplayer and zombies and the campaign you watch them still drop remaster maps even though they had all the time in the world watch them still do that but i want to show you this so this what happened today yay we're getting down to the climax right now check this a lot of news a lot of updates a lot of new content new features and new leaks honestly it's going to take multiple videos to get through everything so for right now let's just start off with black ops 5 which apparently yeah. is going to be black ops 6. <laughs> yesterday we broke down the yeah. reveal image for the game and how it's going to translation instead of it being Cronus Ops 5 it's gonna be Cronus Ops 6 <laughs> yeah be featured after the Xbox showcase in June it seemed pretty ubiquitous across the community that the game was going to be called Black Ops 5 after fans broke down the image well today after the season 3 reloaded update to Modern Warfare 3 data miners were able to find a ton of things within the Modern Warfare 3 game files including the reward for an upcoming Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone event later this season the yeah. reward oh, wow. is going to be a blueprint for the 9mm Damn. Damon pistol, giving it that classic and iconic Black Ops 1. Can a brother, okay, I don't want to say this, but like, can a brother get a really <laughs> Honestly, like, okay, but, but damn, man, y'all are a billion dollar company and this is all what you're gonna get for pre-ordering? Bro, Sega's need to get, like, BJ's, perhaps. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe you can throw in, like, a monkey punch for free, right? The one that you're charging $80. Can a brother get a monkey punch for free in the game? Is that, is that too hard? Can a brother get a pausing button in zombies? Can we get a zombies crew back? Can something, maybe, like, a entire zombies map as a pre-order bonus, right? Like, give it for free. Give it for free? Come on, dog. I mean, it's not even gonna be for free. You gotta pre-order the game. You gotta give them your money, and then they will give you. So, in return, guys, don't even pre-order, honestly. But, but, like, damn, this is the only thing we get, like, for pre-ordering the game? Bruh. I mean, bruh. bruh. On Mustang and Sally appearance, but no this. More. There are six tallies on the side of the gun instead of five. This clearly indicates that we were mistaken when we were deciphering the COD 2024 teaser yesterday, as it appears the game will be called Black Ops 6 instead yeah. of Black Ops 5. This technically does make sense given the fact that there are already five Black Ops games. The continuity yeah. between the games is a bit confusing given that Cold War was more of a prequel, but it does still bear that Black Ops moniker, so it True. appears that Activision and Treyarch have settled on Black Ops 6 being the name for the game. In mm -hmm. addition to that, it looks like Sledgehammer Games is going to be getting in on the fun when it comes to teasing the upcoming Black Ops game <gasps> by bringing back some iconic weapons from the Black Ops universe, including things that were featured as far back as World at War, which of course okay. was the precursor to the Black Ops story. Data miners Man. have found references within the Modern Warfare 3 game files alongside the Mustang and Sally image to the STG-44 assault rifle, the CAR 98K sniper rifle, as well as the SPAS-12 shotgun. So this means that in a future season, we're going to see some classics, some iconic and some old school weapons being added to the Modern Warfare 3 weapon pool. I'm per Yeah, it's gonna be the same game, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm low-key interested in seeing. It's like one of those things, right? Like, whenever a new reveal happens, you just wanna see it 
and that's it. We all know it's gonna be the same damn game. Cheaters are gonna be rampant. There will be BBC bundles. There will be $80, $100 bundles. <laughs> Remaster maps are gonna be coming. So, in other words, no new maps. I, but to be honest, I do think we're gonna get new maps. I don't think, like, four years, damn it. Like, come on, right? I think this this year, if this year is bad, I, I agree that people are gonna say next year will be better. Bruh. Which happens every single year that, yeah, next year Call of Duty will save us. Next year Call of Duty will save us. People always do that. Call of Duty community always like doing that. So I get that part. But this year, it's a little bit different. I mean, it's the same year, don't get me wrong. But it's a little bit different because it's Treyarch making a comeback. We're not in a Rony situation. They finally were able to get all the time in the world to make this game i mean damn bro if this game doesn't make people on wheelchairs do backflips then i i don't i don't know like i, I think then it's joe over it's joe over literally but guys click on this video on the screen this literally happened in the call of duty scene somebody was caught cheating and well he blew their cover yeah check out this video on the screen on the left this video is on my second channel yay second channel guys second channel check it out and i'll see you right there